Hey, welcome back to part five. Don't know why my stupid freaking camera caught me. I hate this camera. It's the worst camera for doing YouTube videos on. My guy, I love my Sony Cybershot 2. Wish that it didn't know. Well, I wish that Sony would come out with a Cybershot free camera. Come on, Sony, if you're listening. Cybershot free. Here we go. Here's your big chance. But anyway, as I was saying, back to this review. Yeah, you just kind of lock the arms in and tear them in there. Which can be somewhat of a pain. But I think they kind of lock in a little bit easier. On, you know, this, the Sky Patrol. Yeah, Airstrike Patrol. Airstrike, Sky Patrol, whatever, I don't care. And fine, you take the little head. And you, uh, turn it down. No. Okay, you take the head and you turn it up. And then you kind of get, like, the little pad coming out. So there are its two little vehicle modes. As you can see. And then for its big old combined mode. So the combined mode we take right here our Storm Cloud I believe it was. Yes, Storm Cloud. And all we do is we take the little hood, we lift the little cockpit up. Bend it back, locked into place there. Reveal this little pad. There's a little pad hole on this side. And that's it. We are done with Storm Cloud. Now for Vesper, all we do is Vesper, leave Vesper as itself. Remember that little head pad? Just put it in and kind of line everything up. So little wings should almost look like they tab into each other, but they don't. There's little notches cut out in there, so you just line up the notches. I would love if they could tab the wings in, but yeah. And then, this is its combined um, Micro Master. I wanted to call it a Target Master, but Micro Master, or well, aka <laughs> Armada Minicots. You know, weapon mode. And this weapon, which I hate that on the bad boss, I don't even tell you this, but it's the Surgical Stream Spy Blade. Surgical Stream Spy Blade. Don't know where the heck they're coming up with these names. I can see Stream because, you know, Streamline, you know, their little planes, not planes, jets, you know what I mean. Because I'm feeling like Bale Trap from the uh, other fair that we did. Which was Sky Tread. Anyway. So. They're calling this. Circuit Stream Spy Blade. Everyone else is just calling it the Dark Star Saber. Which is what I feel it looks like. So it kind of has these uh, stupid little. Uh, let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Little uh, stat charts. Which is good and bad. I mean, it's bad that you don't have the little, you know, stat cards anymore. On the Deluxe Fitters, on these Micro Masters, on the uh, Battle Masters and stuff. But it's also in a way kind of cool that you have kind of like what it's combined form is and stuff. And then you have all the little stats right here. So, pairing it's really strong in strength. Uh, looks like Tardin. Don't know why they had like Tardin on here that's kind of strong. Now, I'm not really sure what this symbol is. You know, in the Transformer world, it could either be like tar, like how good of a range of a, not range, how good of a lot on it has. Like, can it see its enemies from, you know, so much distance of yards? Or it could either be like range, like how long can it be? Like, with, you know, like, is this, you know, the transform world, like, use freaking sword. Like, a bit of, uh, Claymore sword, if you will. If you don't know what a Claymore sword is, go look it up. It's kind of like, almost what Crow uses in the Final Fantasy games. And, um, like, Dante from Dominic Crow uses. It's a big, big sword. And if you remember Guts... 
from a faster I fan was, that anime series, yeah, bid, bid, sword. So, it could mean bid, bid, sword, really huge, humongous sword. It could mean, like, you know, how far you can throw it. So, again, they don't really say anything specific, you know, like, obviously we know the bid muscle means strength. We know the little weight means weight, which is super heavy. But the little target, what does the target actually mean? Does it mean, like, for, like, a gun, I can understand the target might either mean, you know, range, like, up to this many yards out, you know, you can actually see the enemy and be like, Ooh, they're a Decepticon. Ooh, they have green eyes. Or, ooh, they have a little visor or a mouth guard on them. Or it could mean, like, up to, like, maybe, let's say, 75 or 150 yards that's how far you can take the shot and take down an enemy. If they're like outside that range, like 175 yards, 150 yards, 160, nope, you can't hit them. 200 yards, uh uh, you're just wasting your energy on ammo. You know, like I said, we don't really know what this little target symbol actually means. Is it range of field of view as to how far you can see the enemy, or is it range as, you know, how far. Like, if it was a gun, the bullet could actually go, or, you know, Amazon Blaster type of thingy. Or, you know, like, how far you could actually just chuck the sword and throw it like a tomahawk, a hatchet, you know. Again, we're not really sure what the little toy symbol actually physically means in this. To just show it's like, hmm, Muscle Man, yeah! Ooh, Big Giant Cinebrot, wait, heavy... Yeah, so, you can take this and just prop him in there, and there you go. Now it's holding the sword. Which, if you learn the band of the card, they actually show uh, Skytread holding the sword. So, yep, Skytread could hold the sword. It would be nice if, right here, that this could bend, this little pad, so that maybe, you know, you could have it pad into... Actually, you know what? This does not pad into anything. It can only pad into a fully, like, 5 millimeter, completely rounded pad hole, like, in the hand. I tried putting, you know, into the shoulder or anywhere like that. Nope. It won't fit. Which is kind of stupid. Because, I mean, like, these weapons, you know, you take them out of the hand, and, look, they fit on the arm. This one... Nope, it can only be a handheld weapon, which is like, okay, why? That's kind of stupid, but that's how this MicroMaster works. So let's just detach them from weaponized mode into vehicle mode. Wow, like that was how easy it was to get it from weaponized mode into vehicle mode. So yeah, that's been the unboxing review of Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Decepticon Michael Masters Storm Crowd and Vesper Takari Tomi Hasbro. Remember to hit that subscribe button hit that like button, hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.